Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Seth Fishing. Uh, yesterday, I was trying to catch a keeper and I didn't catch a keeper at all. I either caught oversized fish or undersized fish. So I came out today one more time real quick, just before I uh, start working uh, later on tomorrow or whatever. And I apologize if you hear a lot of wind, the wind picked up and uh, I don't have the wind covers for the microphones on the GoPros. But nonetheless, um, I'm only gonna be out here for maybe two or three hours. I just wanna catch one keeper, whether it's a redfish, whether it's a snook, anything I can take home to put on the table uh, since yesterday I wasn't able to do so. And I figured why not go out and make some content and try to get one keeper for you guys. So I'm out here today. I don't usually fish this late. It's like 12 in the afternoon, but it's like 12.30. So I'm gonna see if uh, I can catch something on the quicks and make a quick short video for you guys and head home baby let's get to it guys I came into the inlet and I seen some blow there it is there's some blow ups over there kind of looks like gar though oh there it is again dang you got the snook right there all right let me change the color lure I know just the one and I have one right here There it is. There it is. Ah. He's gonna jump. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I think we finally got him. Oh, this is a big boy, though, I think. Oh, oh he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. We gotta get him out of here. Come here. Oh, he might be a good size. I'm not sure. Oh, woo. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. Let me back up. Might be a keeper, guys. Man, we've been seeing him blow up all day right there. Come here. Come here. Oh, in the net, baby. Let's go. Woo! Hell yeah. Boom. Man, it's been rough. It's been rough all day, man. Coming over here and uh, not getting a lot of bites, but I was watching that guy just blow up on bait non-stop. And I threw, once he hit the bait, uh, one of the baits, I, I seen him go, the bait go airborne. And when, when the bait went airborne, my lure had just dropped. And I'm assuming he thought maybe my lure was the bait. But check out that beauty right there, fellas, on the uh, Texas Hammer. I knew this color was going to work because it always works in the murky water. And perfect hook set, man. That's why this guy wasn't budging at all. He wasn't going anywhere on this. Um, it's like a brown with a reddish color. And oh, you know what? Let me take a picture for Texas. Maybe. But first, let me measure this guy. 
because yesterday we were not able to catch a keeper they were either too big or too small i know this guy's definitely over 24 but i gotta make sure he's not over 28 yeah he's at 27 and a half or 27 and three quarters perfect all right so we're gonna put that guy in the water for a second here uh let me take a photo for texas made but check it out guys let me move that line out of your way Ugh. check out this beautiful snook check it out beautiful now this beautiful snook fellas on the other camera just in case but 27 three quarters almost 28 inches perfect keeper size so we're going to put this guy on the stringer let me get him on a put up take a picture with him real quick on the texas hammer for my sponsor let's put this guy on the stringer here we were looking for one keeper fish today and it had been slow all day so i decided to go into the inlet to see if there was any snooks this guy was blowing on bait non-stop okay through there okay Now we got this guy on the uh, on the naughty stringer, so he doesn't go anywhere. From uh, Texas made in naughty stringers. Let's put him on the stringer. Hell yeah! Now we can go back out and see if we can find a redfish or a trout or something. Because ideally, I wanted a redfish, but a snook would be just fine. Man, I've been grinding it out all day. Not all day since like 12 it's already 2 30 so it's been like two and a half hours of no bites man um just one snook that blew up on my top water earlier and it came right off so that didn't work out so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start going back out that way since there's no need to be back here there's usually a lot of snooks and gar here and i already got one which is the limit in texas um so there's really no need to be out here and trying to catch another one um, so I'm going to go out that way and see if I can spot a school of reds or if I can catch a redfish on the way out. Maybe uh, a trout. I don't know. Something. All right, fellas. We finally made it back to the ramp. Uh, it got really windy, so it was a bit challenging but the wind picked up, which felt really, really good because earlier earlier there was no wind and it was just super, super hot. So the wind helped a little bit in that sense. And um, we came out here for, we came out here for a um, keeper fish. We just wanted one, you know, because, you know, like I said on the last video, I had promised my girlfriend's Anna fish uh, since she's been uh, on a fish diet and, um, Yesterday all I caught was big fish and I wasn't able to land a keeper fish I either caught too big of a fish or too small of a fish. So came out here today for just a little bit uh, To see if we can catch a redfish or a snook and we ended up catching a snook Which is even better than the redfish. I think so I'm gonna go ahead and head home work on this video for you guys and I'll probably see you guys during the week uh, for a night video or uh, You guys will see another video on the weekend uh, usually I fish Saturday and Sunday. I don't usually fish during the week as much, but I do devote myself and my time to you guys every Saturday and Sunday to, to make two videos a week minimum. And if I don't get two videos a week, then I do what I did today and I miss out on a Monday of work uh, and instead make content for you guys. So please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I do miss work to be out here. I don't get paid the same amount that I do for my work that I do for YouTube, but I still do it for you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't be an a-hole. But anyways, guys, with that being said, see you guys in the next one.